हेलो 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 हाई गाइज गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू यू वीडियो फर्स्टली की हाल चाल आई होप यू आर डूंग गुड इन दिस बिकॉज प्रॉब्लम इवेल्युएट अ बाइनरी बुलियन ट्री वी आर गिवन द रूट ऑफ अ फुल बाइनरी ट्री यूजली इन द ट्री प्रॉब्लम यू आर ऑलवेज गिवन द रूट ऑफ द बाइनरी ट्री बट दे आर स्पेसिफिकली मैंशन फुल बाइनरी ट्री नाउ एज एन इंटरव्यूअर बिफोर इवन गिविंग दिस प्रॉब्लम आई माइट आस्क यू वॉट्स अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन फुल बाइनरी ट्री कंप्लीट बाइनरी ट्री परफेक्ट बाइनरी ट्री बैलेंस बाइनरी ट्री अ बी एस टी अ थ्रेड बाइनरी ट्री अ बी ट्री एंड अ बी प्लस ट्री so okay i'll not go on to these although i'll give a quick glance but you should be knowing for a interview perspective see a full binary tree is something having a zero or two child nodes a complete binary tree is all the levels are filled except possibly the last level which means last level can also be filled right but if it is not filled then it should have all the nodes to as la as left as possible cool perfect binary tree is always having exactly two children it's perfect it's perfect and also leaf nodes are the same level so it's a perfect binary tree for us the balanced binary tree is that okay the difference the height difference between the left and the right sub trees should be at most one it can be equal also but it can be at most one now comes the bst where you know that left one is small right one is large threaded binary tree is when you have to go to the parent then you make a thread if you have not watched just write morris traversal by r m till you get the video in which we have actually built the third binary tree b and b plus trees are actually used for indexing right again this is a very how these b and b plus tree works it's a, a big a bit big one so you can just simply google search it but yeah most importantly these are the ones which are actually asked you now coming on back this specifically saying that leaf nodes have either a value zero which is representing a false or they having a value of one which is represents a true okay non leaf nodes are either having a value of a 2 which means or or a value of 3 which means and okay i have to evaluate the node and what i have to do is if the node is a leaf node the evaluation is the value of the node that is true or a false so i have to make thing one i have to make sure one thing that if the node is a leaf node i have to evaluate a true or a false okay otherwise otherwise evaluate the nodes two children as you can see i will have the two children let's let's imagine a hypothetical tree let's imagine this as a tree i said that if this is a leaf node i will simply evaluate it as a, as a true or a false because i know that leaf nodes will only contain true or a false so it will be false or a true false or a true cool if it is a non leaf node which means for the other nodes i have to go to the these two children and apply the boolean operation according to like of its value with the children's evaluation so let's say here it says and so i'll do so i'll do a and here so let's say if it says or i'll do a or here if it says and i'll do a and of these two children okay return the boolean result of evaluating the root node so after evaluating everything for example like let's say i evaluated this it became a true because it's a and so here i can bring a two after applying a or operation i'm saying here let's say I, it was a and So I applied an operation; it became false. Now let's say if this is saying an or operation, so I will apply on these two children now and say, okay, it is a true. I have to return this as a true ultimately in the end. And they have also mentioned what's a full binary tree? It's a binary tree where each node has either a zero or a two children. But for an interview, he will firstly ask you, and then he will ask you this problem. It's a very standard technique what interviews interviewers use. And basically, a leaf node has just the last one of the tree and has zero children. So you know one thing that this is some operation where you have to go to the leaf and then from leaf onwards you have to start coming up back. So do you see something? What is what is that operation in which you go down while coming up? You perform some operation. That is a simple recursion, or we can say in a simple tree terms, that is simple DFS. So I know that I will have to simply perform a simple recursion, and we know that in a simple recursion or in a simple DFS, where we have a uh, simply will pass in the root node. We know that we have to return some Boolean expression. Now, usually in this comes a base case, a recursive case, right? A base case simply can be when the root is null. Okay, if the root is null, let's let's say if the root is null. then return what return what because what will happen as soon as you will you will be on the leaf node it will try to go to its children children but it will start returning something it will start re returning something uh, you might be confused what it will return you can return anything here it will not matter because 
what you return should matter what was on the leaf node and not on the leaf nodes children which was null so we can return anything here we can also turn a false or a true okay but the main thing comes in that what a recursive function i should say simply a recursive function will say okay what is the left result my recursive function will actually solve for the left result saying solve for roots left again and the same way for right result it will be solve for roots right now when this portion is done it has gone up it has gone deep into recursion by coming back i have to solve how i will solve i will simply say that i have to solve on the basis of what's the value if this is a or operation then simply apply or on the children if it's an operation simply apply and on the children i know this is my children left and right so i will simply say if my roots if my current nodes value if that is a 2 if that is a 2 or i should say rather than as root says a node so as to not conf confuse you that node can be anything right node can be anything so it can be a nodes left nodes left now i'll simply say if the current nodes left if this is a 2 again if this is a 2 i know i have to apply a or operation so i'll simply say i'll apply a or operation on these two result which means left or right so i'll simply return a left result or my right result that will be my application if my root like if my nodes sorry it is nodes value if the nodes value is 2 but r and what if it is 3 okay if it is 3 i will apply the and operation if the node value is 3 then i will apply simply a and operation and i will say simply uh, left's result and right's result now this is done and you applied this operation while coming up see anything after the recursion anything after the recursion is applied while coming up right okay but then is it complete like uh, what okay shall i just close this bracket and is my code complete uh, probably not because what about the leaf nodes like i have covered the null node i have covered the non leaf nodes but if the node if the leaf node is uh, actually a true or false because they have mentioned if the node is a leaf node the evaluation is the value of them itself uh, so i can simply say that ultimately in the end if the nodes value is equal to zero then i should actually return a false else i am good to return a true and that is how i handle my leaf node how i handle my non leaf nodes and this is simply a recursion which will help me to actually handle the childs and then parents cool now this is a simple thing which we actually build and that for that we don't even need to go to the actual examples because we knew that we have to firstly handle the child and then on the basis of that we have to handle the parents so if if we take the example what will happen in this specific code a simple trial uh, firstly it will try to go for left and right for this or it will have to go left and right right sorry left it can simply go on to the last one because it is a again it is a node value equal to zero then it will simply return a false or it will return a true if this value is one so you will see that it is never even trying to go to this specific thing right okay then it will return a true here okay true here but then he will go on to the and now again he will again go and try left and right he as he go on to the false okay he will turn a false false he will turn a true then value node value as you can see here it comes and node value is equal to three so it will do a and operation of both of them false and true it will become a false then it will re return that false to my or or will have the left and the right result right true and false it will do a or operation and then return that to the parent okay he will return a true and then that is my answer so true is my answer same way in this case i have just one node which is zero which is again it will come directly it will come directly in this if node value is equal to zero then return a false i'll simply return a false that's simple that cool the code is exactly pretty simple short straightforward that if the node if the root is null simply return a true you can just ask your interviewer if you want such case to happen that if you want to like have it a false you can also have it a false it's totally up to you and your interviewer but this will only happen if you have a null like actually only the null node that's it now uh, you will just check the left and right after doing the recursion you will while coming back you will check if it's a two 
do a or operation. If it's a three, do a and operation. If it's a zero or a one, do a true or a false operation. And that's it's a simple recursion going on to all the nodes space as it can be skewed so it can go to o of n also again there can be a way to solve this via stack also but that is simply a bullshit thing because this is actually what recursion is built for cool bye bye take care